dollars of his own campaign contributions towards his personal America at war. This is about preventing war. It's always been about That's the direction we want to see America go into. But the problem is, this is not just about Donald Trump, the candidate. This is about what Donald Trump is doing to the Republican Party. You look at the Republican Party, and no president has put a country more in debt during his time than Donald Trump. He's not talking about wasteful spending at all. All of that, the COVID stimulus bill and the lack of accountability, all was on his watch. And so that's a total shift for Republicans to think that that kind of spending is okay. He's also making a shift on the national security perspective. We have always believed in peace through strength, always. And you're not gonna get peace if you're like Joe Biden putting your head in the sand, or if you're like Donald Trump, where he's saying, don't pay attention to the rest of the world, just live in our own little bubble. Because that's not how it works. Putin has made it very clear that once he takes Ukraine, Poland and the Baltics are next. Those are NATO countries that immediately puts America at war. This is about preventing war. It's always been about preventing war. So he shifted the Republican Party on fiscal responsibility. He shifted the Republican Party on national security. And then what's he actually doing to the Republican Party? He put $60 million of his own campaign contributions towards his personal court case. And now the Republican Party, he is replacing the head of the Republican Party with his daughter. And he is replacing the director of operations with his campaign, as his, with his campaign manager. And they have now announced to all of us that the RNC's sole focus is Donald Trump. Donald Trump is turning the Republican Party into his own playpen, where it's all about him. And the RNC is being turned into the fact this is a slush fund for his legal fees. If he spent just $8 million in January, by the end of this, it will be over $100 million in legal fees. While Joe Biden is stockpiling his money, Donald Trump's not watching out for the Republican Party. He's not watching out for America. He's watching out for himself. And all you have to do is listen to him. After New Hampshire, when I got 43% of the vote, he was unhinged. He went on this rant about revenge. And my dress, by the way. Then after these court cases, all he's done is talked about being a victim. But the problem is, if you're talking about revenge, or you're talking about being a victim, at no point is he talking about the American people. At no point is he talked about the $34 trillion in debt. At no point is he talking about the fact that only 31% of eighth graders in our country are proficient in reading. At no point is he talking about the open borders. At no point is he talking about the lawlessness in our cities. And at no point is he talking about how he's going to protect America from terrorists. All he's doing is talking about himself. And that's the problem. And so when I look at this, it is why we must have a new generational leader. And no president has put a country more in debt operations with his campaign as his, with his campaign manager. And they daughter. And he's, 
and he is replacing the director of the venue. He shifted the Republican Party on fiscal responsibility. He shifted the Republican Party on dollars of his own campaign contributions towards his personal. He put 60 million, it's not just about Donald Trump, the candidate. This is about what Donald Trump can party. He is replacing the head of the Republican Party with his. And you're not going to get peace if you're like Joe Biden putting your head in the sand. have now announced to all of us that the RNC's sole focus